Hi, Bobby. This is Joellen here, and I'm interviewing you on behalf of the Women's Commission because you got inducted into the Women's Hall of Fame. In what category? In Justice, Women of Justice. Okay. And say your full name, if you will. Roberta Warshaw. Okay. You'll have to excuse me. I'm getting over a cold, so if I'm a little hoarse. You sound great. Tell us about your family. Oh, I'm married to Paul Heiss. Uh, and I have two children, five grandchildren, five stepchildren, and two step-grandchildren. Wow, that's a big family. What did that come to in number? Um, 17, I believe. I bet holidays around your house are phenomenal. Oh, they're fun. They're great fun. We have everyone, usually for Thanksgiving, and I had a marvelous uh, trip over Christmas when I took the whole family on a vacation. It was absolutely phenomenal. Where'd you go? Costa Rica. Wow, did you go swimming or what oh, did you we, do? We hiked in the rainforest and saw all kinds of uh, monkeys and toucans and animals. We had a fantastic time, walked on hanging uh, bridges went to a um, coffee plantation and a, a chocolate uh, plantation, cocoa beans, and um, some of the more adventuresome people went zip lining, and we, most of us went white river raft, white water river rafting. They will never forget that. Oh, absolutely. That was a great experience for the family to bond. Oh, yeah. Both sides are very, very close. Uh, the grandchildren are all cousins. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about your history here with your um, justice. Um, oh, uh, it's mostly due to the fact that I'm a neighborhood mediator. Most of our referrals from Lebanon County Mediation Service come from the police and we try to so solve neighborhood disputes, and it's wonderful because um, having been a lawyer, I saw how um, litigation and arbitration uh, cause dissatisfaction because the end result is one determined by someone else. In mediation, the people who are disputing find their own solutions, and are usually happy. Nothing uh, pleases me and surprises me more than when I sit down at a table with two angry people, and an hour and a half later, they're smiling, shaking hands, and some of the women have even been hugging because they learn to understand one another. And how long have you been doing this, Bobby? Uh, it began, I believe, in 2000. So that's 14 years. Oh, yeah. And you've been in it since the beginning. Yes, yes. Okay. And what kind of an attorney were you? Uh, I worked uh, in low-income housing primarily to develop um, affordable housing. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Pardon me. Affordable housing for those who couldn't really afford decent housing. It was in Chicago where I, I lived in Evanston before I moved here. But it was uh, in Chicago, I worked for an uh, umbrella corporation, a uh, uh, nonprofit that had 32 mainly church-based um, neighborhood organizations and we helped them in each neighborhood develop affordable housing. And, uh, and I did the legal and the complex layering of financing. Oh, financing is really yeah. something. I did take a year off uh, from that. I had gone to law school with Pat Quinn, who is now governor, but was then the treasurer. And he made me um, uh, director of housing so that uh, he could give me some state funds that I would... Uh, was able to develop a program to aid in the layering of financing from the federal government, the, the local governments, and from charitable and banks. 
So. What an illustrious career. We're lucky to have you here in Lebanon. Oh, and I had a great, have a great time here. Well, and you're a newcomer, so the Women's Commission recognizes women who have grown up here and people who have yeah. moved to the community. And I'm an Auslander. I've only been here since 98. Okay, but we're so proud that you're here and, and contributing in the way you do. And I understand, too, that you have been involved in so many things like politics as well. Do oh, you care yes. to say anything about that? Oh, well, back um, in 1968, I first got involved in politics because I was passing out literature for Eugene McCarthy for president because I was against the Vietnam War. And I had my phone tapped by the Chicago police and the FBI, and I was so enraged that I've worked every election since then, although I'm getting tired now. Um, but uh, then I, I was active in politics, and I served several terms on the Evanston City Council, and then I was, it was in Evanston, an elected position to um, uh, run the De Evanston Party, and then that put me on the Cook County Democratic Central Committee, which is pretty funny. Um, a friend of mine who's a judge there said, you on the committee, that committee, it's like, well, maybe I shouldn't say this on tape. It's like putting a virgin into a whorehouse because I was so squeaky clean and they don't have that kind of reputation. But uh, no, I, I, I um, had met Paul in 91 and although we couldn't live together till one of us retired, uh, I wound up, um, we got married in 94 and I then retired a little early in 98 so I could move here and be with him and that's when my term uh, was over and I thought it's time. That's really nice. Well let's see if you had some words of wisdom for the young generation behind us uh, what would you say? Don't get locked into anything. The future is always open. Do work that you enjoy and that gives to society. Forget about the money. It will come if you're doing something worthwhile. I like that. And what makes you tick, Bobby? Oh, now? Um, family and purpose and feeling worthwhile. I think a lot of women have come to that point in their lives where their family is the most important thing. Oh, it, it has with age. I mean, what... We were sell the trip I took everyone on was um, seven months early, but we were celebrating my 80th birthday, and that's getting up there. And so I'm thankful for every day I wake up and I'm vertical. You know what? You are amazing. For 80 years old, what enthusiasm and what uh, go-getiveness you have! I admire you very much. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Uh -huh.